Because if the only hope you have in Christ is just in this life and not the life to come, the reason why they're of all men most miserable is because they suffer the persecution for Jesus Christ. Because I'll tell you what, if you're not living for Jesus Christ, you're saved today and you go off and live like the world, nobody's going to persecute you. Nobody is going to, you know, put you down. Nobody's going to mock you. No one's going to ridicule you. No one's going to make fun of you. Okay, and Christianity today needs to understand that when you have people who are getting railed on in the public that are being put down by the world, they're probably doing something right as opposed to doing something wrong. Too many Christians today have this concept that Christianity needs to be so weak and so watered down that you just are friends with everybody and the whole world should love you and accept you. And if you're doing that, then you're being a real good Christian. Well, you know what? Christ was the example of all Christians, and they nailed him to a cross. Okay, so if you think you're more holy or better than Jesus Christ, look what they did to him. They whipped him and beat him and mocked him and spit on him and nailed him to a cross. You think he didn't know how to get along with people? Of course he knew how to get along with people. But it was more important to preach the truth and not back down from preaching the truth of the word of God. There's a reason, you know, you have to hate somebody pretty bad to set them up and lie about them and go through all the trouble that they did to try to get him put to death. And they absolutely did. They hated him. Now, obviously, some people loved him and followed him, but that wasn't the majority of people. And the Bible says, yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. If you suffer zero persecution, zero persecution for your faith, you're doing something wrong. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be persecuted every single day that you're alive on this earth. But if you just can't say it, I, like I can't think of any time where I've ever had any persecution come my way, then check your walk with God because you are doing something wrong. All that live godly, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. It's going to happen. Which is why they say this right here. Hey, if, if the only hope we have is right here in this life, then we're of all men most miserable. Because we could be doing lots of other things that might be more enjoyable to the flesh and not deal with the persecution, not get whipped, not get beaten, not get thrown in prison. We can do all these other things. But we're doing these things because our hope is not in this life. It's in the resurrection. It's in the life to come. It's in heaven. It's receiving the rewards that God's going to give. Hey, you are faithful in the death. I'm going to give you a crown in the life. At that judgment seat of Christ, where all believers are going to stand before Jesus Christ, and he's giving out the rewards, and he's testing your works on this earth, what you've done for him. I don't want all my, all my works burnt up. I don't want to be that, that lame Weaker. I don't want to be called least, as uh, um, the Bible says in Matthew, you know, that, that, that he that, um, he that, that breaketh the least of these commandments and shall teach men so, the same shall be called least in the kingdom of God. 